Hey guys, so it's your girl, Mind Your Biz Naive. And um, I know it's been a minute since I've made a video like this. I've been up on the hair videos, obviously, monthly, um, giving you guys updates on that. But I, I just been, <laughs> girl, life been lifing me, okay? Like, life has been lifing me. But um, I just want to slide through a little, quick little video on um, how men will not know um, what their wife looks like. And, um, th you know, when I do do videos, it's because I, I, I go through that or I have been through that, right? And I would like you guys to not have to, okay? Period. Anyways, so let's get through these keys, these points that I, I would hope that would help you identify um, how you know a man does not know what his wife looks like um, in this, uh, this true story. Okay, a true story of mind your biz 90. So anyways, um, number one, how a man, how you can recognize how a man does not know what his wife looks like, is he makes you jump through hoops. Like we're some bunnies around here, right? Um, he will try to test you. Um, like, so for example, I have this guy that I'm, I've dated, right, in the recent, uh, currently, right? And um, a, a lot of men will try to see, hey, you know, let me see if this woman is who she says she is. Or let me see if I can catch her off guard. So, hey, send me a picture of what your refrigerator looks like. Me being a healthy person that I am, no problem. Bet. Here's the pictures. Here's the current pictures of the refrigerator. Like, what are you looking for? Are you looking for junk food? You're looking for something that doesn't look healthy? You're looking for someone that has a real life that can can show you that they actually eat food because you, you was checking to see if it was empty. We are rich around here. We have money in the bank. We, we can feed ourselves. You was looking for a broke bitch. That's what she was looking for. But when I go to your house and look at your refrigerator, I see nothing but literal junk food. But you want to worry about what I have in mind? Okay. That's a hoop right here. That's a hoop right here that he wants you to jump through. Then they want to see if you can cook. I can cook better than your mother, okay? Don't try to test me, test your mama. I don't understand that. Like, they think that we have to jump through hoops to prove ourselves that we are worthy to be their girlfriend. But it's not really their girlfriend, that we're worthy to be their wife. And the thing is, I'm more worthy than you could ever be worthy to be my man. That's what they don't understand. Like, I feel like a lot of men think that they are the prize. Um, the only prize in a relationship when really you are a pauper around here, okay? You ain't King Kong, like you are a midget, and I don't even want to say midget, but like you are you're just in small, like, and no disrespect to someone that is a little person. What I'm trying to say is these men think they are King Kong, they think that they are better than women, they feel like they need to put a woman in her place. When really, we are above you and will continuously be above you. That's what I just don't understand. Like, somebody jumped into these these men's minds, put a battery in their back, and told them that they were the prize. And I really feel like that started, like, I don't know, maybe 2012, 2013, but it became unanimous in the dating world since, like, 2016, I feel like. And I mean men who aren't even good looking. Um, I mean men who, like, don't really bring anything to the table besides maybe a big ding-dong. Um, maybe they got a bag on them. Maybe they got a home. Because most men live in matchboxes. So if they do have their own home, they think that they are the epitome of what it, it takes to be a man in a relationship or a man in America. Um, but really, they live in a shell of a home. Because let me tell you, the house is dirty. They got dirty clothes all over the place, dishes in a sink, food from when they they peeled a, a hard boiled egg and it's still in the in like the sink thing and it's supposed to drop to the disposal, but it didn't drop because they didn't care to drop it. They ain't cleaned their toilets in weeks. They probably ain't even washed their bed spread, sheets, pillowcases in months. But you're trying to check the women? <laughs> you want us to jump through hoops? You need to be jumping through all the hoops. We are, and I hate, I hate using that we are, are the word prize when it comes to relationships, but really it's the women. It's not the men. And the fact that it's been a, it's been a, a mind shift 
is really baffling to me. I, I will never ever understand it. And I hate when men think and say to me that they're prize, that they are the prize, that they're prize too. But it, okay, you got a job. You're supposed to have a job. Okay. Oh, you have children. You got paid child support. You're supposed to do that. You're supposed to take care of your child. You're supposed to take her to speech therapy. You're supposed to help her with her schoolwork. I don't care if you don't like the mom or not. And then they think if they can dress, they think that they may have a nice car or a fast car, that that's gonna make them more like um, enticing to a woman. Not to somebody who got a bag herself. Not to somebody who has their own place, their own car. And I think that a lot of men are not used to dealing with women who, who are on their level. So when they do find someone that's on their level, they want to see, well, let's see if she really is on my level. Let me see if I can put push her to her limits. I want to see how much she's willing to put up with. That's when I know she's a wife. Yeah, I don't know. I'd be gone, okay? You put me through too much, and I'm gone. And, and, and too much is not even too much. Too much is, if I keep coming over to your house and your house is dirty, nigga, do you even shower? Okay, do you even... Um, wash your clothes and then you didn't want to ask about stuff like that. Oh, it's, it's not a priority in a grand scheme of life But you're checking when you come over to my home. You're checking to make sure it smells good You're checking to make sure everything's clean. You're in and out my refrigerator What are you looking for if you're looking for someone that's like your mom go marry your mother? <laughs> I'm sorry. I just can't like These these men they don't know what their wife looks like so they, they, they are so scared to fall in love, to be emotionally available, that they want to put this hard exterior when really they are a little boy, just, just a little child. Um, but they, they want to walk around like they're a big dog. But really, I feel like the women are the big dogs. Like, y'all would not be able to exist. You need help. I don't care if you have money in a bank. You find on the outside. But what is your spirit like? Why are you a conspiracy theorist, okay? Um, why are you just, you know, high key, want to be argumentative? And then there's men, if you, if you choose to date a black man and you're a black woman, that are like, you know, um, black women are so hard to get along with. And then I meet you and I'm just like, you're different. No, we're not hard to get along with. We call you out on your bull crap. That's what you're not used to. That's what you're not used to. But anyways. <laughs> I said all that to say that the, the hoops and the tests is because these men have trust issues. They have trust issues from stuff that they will never, ever, 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 ever get over. Either they have trust issues from their mommy abandoning them, their first wife cheating on them, and they're pushing all that and projecting all that on you when you didn't do nothing to deserve these tests or these hoops. And I just think it's, 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 it's kind of funny to me because you want us to give you blind trust, blind faith, when you out here, you know, sucking and ducking all these women. But you don't want a woman with no body count. You don't want a woman that has done anything. But you want to be the one that goes out in the streets and be like Bugs Bunny hopping on these hoes. And you expect us to be like, oh, that's okay. Yeah, you're a real man if you have sex with everybody. No, you're a real dog. Go get an STD test. All right. Uh, <laughs> and the other thing I wanted to bring up is that's when you're in the sphere of single and dating, but married men do the same thing too. I feel like I've been um, approached or uh, experienced married men who are married to a wife already, who he has kids with, right? Um, but he does not know if that's the woman he's supposed to live with for the rest of his life, supposed to be with for the rest of his life, right? Let me move this because this, I've been kicking it. I've been kicking it, girl. Um, so let's say these men usually have been married for like 10 years, 12 years, or been together with this woman for 10, 12 years to include being married to her, right? And then they see you consistently at the gym. They see you consistently at work, smelling good, looking good, smiling. And they clock you and then they how they how they weasel themselves in is they compl compliment you like oh you look nice today you look cute or you, you always look good your hair is always on point 
Um, do you, would you like to have some coffee? I, I bought this extra coffee. It was on accident when it was not on accident. He purposefully bought it for you, okay? Just, just take it or don't take it, you know, just, just keep it moving. Um, and then they, that's how they weasel themselves in. And then they start talking to you, sparking up conversations. And then they realize that you have more in common with them than they ever will um, with their actual wife who they chose to have children by. And it's sad because I'm not saying I, I, I you know, um, follow through with these things, but I pick up on these, these uh, nuances that a man tries to, you know, put into your life, uh, inject into your life when he is married to someone else. Because I feel like a lot of men, married men, they're more, they're more single than single guys, number one. They will probably treat you better than a single man would ever treat you because when the wife, the first wife or the current wife has already schooled him how he needs to treat a woman, okay? So he's going to ask you, how was your day? How was your weekend? How are you feeling today while you're at work? You know, um, do you need help with that squat? Because I, I can show you how to really use a squat rack. Like, I'm a freaking pro. What's that called? Power lifter or something. I can really help you out with your form. So they know how to... Um, be approachable without being like making you feel uncomfortable basically um, what I want to say is no man is just nice for no reason he wants to ask you out a lot of married men want to ask you out they want to get close to you they want to get to know you so they can put you in this mind frame of let's date but I'm never gonna leave my wife I'm never um, going to leave my wife because I want to save them kids. I want to raise some kids up. I'm really only there for a marriage. And I realize I get along with you better than I get along with my wife because probably they got married because, you know, she happened to get pregnant by him. And he felt like he wanted to be a, a real man and do the right thing and, and, and raise his kids and take care of his woman. Do that. Then then stay in that decision. Don't, don't fall away from that decision and decide... I need someone different, I need someone better. Live with that decision or get a divorce before you try to step to another woman. I don't understand this, but this is this is what happens. This is I feel like even, like I said, even married men don't even know what their wife looks like and they are continuously have their head on a swivel as well looking for the next wife. But don't fall prey to it. And when you are in a dating mode of dating someone single and they're putting you through these hoops, if it's too much, then keep it moving. And sometimes, like, for me, I don't give a lot of chances. Um, I don't jump through a lot of hoops. Like, I have a life here where it's very comfortable. I have my stuff together. I don't need a man in my life. I would love to have one, but he needs to make my life better and not be stressful and add emotional intelligence to it um, and add some security to it when I feel like I can be safe around him. Not security by bringing a bag to the table, um, but someone that I can trust with and let my guard down and, and be comfortable with because sometimes you can be in these situations where You think that you found someone that you can be comfortable with and let your guard down and as soon as you tell him Something that is deep on your heart. That's when he turns around and he uses it on you It's sad, but it happens or That's when he turns around. And it's just like you know what this is getting too deep for me So let me fall back fall back Negro. We don't want you here anyways so anyways, I, I, I just want to let you know, it's whether you're in dating or you're married or you're, you are single and you see these single men and these married men, they, they don't, they're dumb. They don't know what they want um, and they will try to try you. It's up to you. I can't tell you how many chances you can give somebody or how many hoops you need to jump through. But it, when it comes to a point where it's not worth it, you feel like you might be losing yourself. You feel like this is not where I need to be. God is not telling me I need to be here. Then pack it up and just leave and start over. Like um, some people are afraid to start over. Some people say you're starting from scratch. I'm not starting from scratch. I'm starting from experience. Period. Okay. So, anyways, I just I just wanted to say that like. Just be, just be cognizant or aware that these men don't know what their wife look like. You could be the baddest, you could be the smartest, the most educated, the most richest, the most prettiest, and they still wouldn't pick you because you, they, because they, is because it's they, it's not you. 
is they because they don't know what they want and they think now that they have this smorgasbord of of women on these dating apps or women in real life because you could be with a guy and date a guy and you can tell that women think he cute too and he picks up on it too so he thinks that women are at his fingertips keep thinking that you're gonna lose a real one okay anyways I just wanted to, to come up here and say that I'm gonna start filming some more videos um, just be aware of the keys and the tips that I gave you. Um, do what's best for you. And uh, for me, I'm always mind my business, I eat, and I'm always going to keep it moving. It's like, period. Until the right man comes along. Or it's not just the right man, it's the man that I'm willing to deal with, right? And I, I feel like um, men have the same thing too. Like, what are they willing to deal with? Most men aren't willing to deal with anything, they want a trophy. They want, you know, I bring a bag to the table. I, you know, prepare a home. All you got to do is keep the home clean or you got to raise these kids. Well, what else? I got to deal with you, though, too. I can, I don't mind taking a, taking a house and turning it into a home or taking care of these kids. But I got to actually deal with you and you're not dealable with. Like, I'm also keep, keep, keep my own bag and go to my own bag and do my own thing and have my own house. Have my own wealth. That's what I plan on doing. Um, until the right person comes along that I'm willing to um, deal with. So, I hope these keys helped you. I hope this conversation that I had with myself and my phone helped you. And um, until next time, keep it real, keep it 100, and uh, mind your business.